it's been it's been kind of coming to me for a while but it but it became more and more apparent just this last week I was talking to a young a young family who's been coming for um, six or eight months now and starting to get really connected but what he's what he here's what he told me he says when I first came to cross point they didn't seem very friendly now that was kind of strange to me because I think we're the most friendly people on the planet and then I began watching and you know what kind of happens there's there's so many of us that have kind of been brought together we just don't know anybody we just don't know one another very well we don't we're not a parochial church we don't we're not in one neighborhood where we pull from a whole body of the same people we all go to the same you know gym we all go to the same library our kids go to the same schools we all have the same elk lodge we don't have that in fact how many people live in Bettendorf put your hands up okay y'all take a look around okay how many people live in Moline okay y'all look around how many people live in Rock Island okay how many people live in Davenport do you guys get the picture we come from all over the Quad Cities we come from different heritage different backgrounds different cultures but that makes it more difficult I'm not gonna bump into you at the supermarket I'm not gonna go down to the gym with you I'm not gonna see you in our normal place that means things are not gonna happen by accident here they're just not the easy thing for us to do is take our church and put it in a community where we can pull from a larger population of people. But we don't feel like that's what God's called us to do. And here's what I think is happening at Crosspoint. Because we don't know each other, we're kind of waiting for people to do stuff. And here's what we think. Well, somebody will host that small group. Well, somebody's paying that tithe check. Well, somebody's going to come down and sweep the floor. Well, I didn't connect with them very well. And here's what I'm here to tell you. If you've ever said that, let me be the first to tell you, there is no they. If you say, well, I think they're having a small, there's no they. If they're paying, there's no they. They come down and sweep, no, there's no they. There's just us. And if you're waiting for them, to step in and do something, it ain't gonna get done. If you're waiting for them to come and form relationships with you, it ain't gonna happen because there's no they. There's not like a secret group of us that all conspired and started a church <laughs> and we're the secret society and we may welcome you in or we may, there's no they. There's just us. And if you're waiting for them to do something it ain't gonna happen are you guys tracking me with this on if you're kind of sitting and you're saying well I just haven't connected with people very well there's some new people I just haven't just because there's no they there's no them for you to connect with there's just us you have to step fully into your redemptive purpose you have to do it here's what we believe at cross point we believe that all the tools necessary for us to succeed are right here now where are they us. God has given us the gifts of the Spirit. Everything that you need to be successful is possessed by somebody in this body. Everything you need to be successful is somehow possessed by somebody in this body. Did you get that? But you have to step fully into that redemptive process. Here's what it looks like. If you're a teacher and you're saying, well, I think they're going to start a small group. There's no they! It's you. If you're a teacher, then teach one. Get up and teach one. If you think, well, they're going to put out some great hospitality stuff. There's no they. It's you. If you have the gift of, gift of hospitality, then you need to come and help. By the way, if you have the gift of, a gift of hospitality and you haven't had somebody over to your house, you're not functioning in your gift. I can't put it to you any more simply than that. If you have the gift of, gift of hospitality, you better find somebody, invite them over to your home. The Bible says that some have entertained angels and weren't aware of it because of their hospitality. If you have the gift of giving, which, which we all need to be givers, by the way, if you're not giving, you're not growing. I don't know who you are, so don't duck me in the hallways. And I don't care how much you give, but if you're not giving, you're not growing. And if you're not giving, you're going to be in the same place that you are now a year from now. And you're going to come to me and you're going to say, I'm just not growing. I'm dealing with the same stuff. Da, da, da. I'm going to say, are you giving? You're going to say, no. And I go, well, then give. 
and you'll start to grow and we won't be here again next year. So if you're gonna get, if you're gonna, if you wanna grow, you better start giving. But if you have the spiritual gift of giving, you'd better start giving. If you're, if you have the spiritual gift of giving, what that means is you probably have the ability to manage and handle and make money because you can't give something that you don't have. If you have the spiritual gift of giving and you're making some money and you're not giving it or you're just kind of tipping God a little 10% here and there, that ain't giving. And you're not going to accomplish your purposes and Crosspoint's not going to move forward. If you have the gift of healing, which means when you pray for people, they get well. Let's not overthink this. If you have the gift of healing and people get better when you pray for them, you need to step fully into that redemptive process. Do you get what I'm saying? There's no they. Don't wait for somebody else to do it. If you're frustrated with something, go to that brother and say, I'm frustrated with this. Let's figure this out. If you see somebody who's, who's living incorrectly, don't say to yourself, well, somebody's going to bring that. I think they'll bring an admonition somewhere. There's no they. It's you. It's us. We have to step fully into God's process. This is what I believe about Crosspoint. I believe that God has uniquely qualified and set us apart for, for a job that is mission critical. I, I believe this. We have an assignment on the front lines that we absolutely cannot fail in. But if we don't step fully into God's redemptive purposes, we're going to miss it. And God's going to raise somebody else up. And I can't live with that. And I don't think you should live with it either. There's no they. There's just us. And God giving us an assignment. Let's go do it. Yeah.